Okay, nice little warm up matches against Mr. Calcina this afternoon. Busy putting the recording on, I've not seen what move was being made. This looks like one of those weird combinations. Because we've got the bishop on his queen, we can take his bishop. Knight takes, bishop takes, we're on his rook. Not sure if it's a big benefit because, ooh, what's going on? Let's turn the tables. Let's turn, just still take here. I don't think there's any major benefits, it's equal still isn't it, it's just a weird way of going about it. His bishop takes, it's alright. Could even take with his queen. Got our queen in front of his king, so I suppose that's a benefit, but he's got it all jammed down. Mm. So based on the simul, I'm going to be, I'm going to have to be very careful, because his bishop can come here, let's blunt the bishop, it's basic. I don't want to fall for any fancy tactics. I'm a positional player. We almost had him in the in the simul actually. We just didn't take the knight off the board. We should have taken that knight off. Simple as. The knight's on the back, so that's pretty simple. Just developing. Don't want to leave that there. Let's get some action going. What's he thinking? Tactics, tactics, tactics. This knight's got a nice position here, obviously. He's got a fork on the queen and the bishop. So I think that's probably what he's going to go for. It's nice and simple, isn't it? No! Well, I must say I'm quite shocked at that particular manoeuvre. If he is thinking of coming down here, the knight's got this here. Although I think he's still thinking of bringing the knight here, genuinely. So if he gets the fork on, I'm gonna have to come here. I don't really want to do that. Could bring the queen here. It's not really good there. Could bring it here, tack in the pawn here, but also tacking here. Get our knight into the king area. Get the rooks facing the knights. I don't think I need to move the queen because I'm playing backward steps with this knight. His knight is coming here, definite. So I'm going to bring it here towards the king area as the answer process. I don't know if it's right or not. Like in the last game, it was well, it was a bit quicker last game because I was playing a somewhat similar. I was playing other people, so full concentration wasn't on there. He played well. But yeah, like we said, the knight's coming straight there. don't need to sit and wait for him to take we can keep this here because this is quite nice for us so now he's blocked his access attacking the pawn here 
where is he thinking of dancing to next maybe just bringing his knight here blocking that access so he's going defensive so I like that just bring the bishop back here I'm a positional player not a tactics player so this is a nice position I'm feeling comfortable with it hopefully it's making <laughs> Julio feel a little bit squinchy now I don't know though, we'll see because he's got magic at his fingertips tactics galore and I want to learn to defend against those tactics oh he's doing lazy man attacking the bishop, doesn't like my bishop's diagonal on here mm -hmm. what do I have block the scud missile because we do like this bishop being here it can be blocked i mean he's going to probably come down with this pawn next but i'm going to block this pawn from traversing down some may say position is like tactics it, there's a there's a difference to me tactics is like you know it, it's I don't class it as proper proper chess because it's memorizing maneuvers and patterns and position plays just having my pieces in a nice decent position so it makes the person feel uncomfortable we did say this poem was coming down didn't we okay I need to concentrate <coughs> right no more monologuing now So it's coming down, this knight is supporting the pawn pushing down on here, so we need to be pushing this pawn on, smaller piece attacking a higher piece. It's probably going to sit here, like we said, blocking off the queen's access here. And we're looking at maybe potentially, or even a rook rover, you never know. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong. no monologuing just focusing on the game all chat about the game nothing else or else I'll lose my thread is he going to try and squeeze his bishop through no no knight here he's got to bring the knight to whoa he's bringing it forward into no man's land he's got no support there got no support there but he is attacking this pawn man you know there's no let up always find something to attack I'm gonna have to bring this bit this is the only thing that can protect it isn't it oh well okay don't overthink that but is he genuinely going there where is he bouncing to he's going somewhere isn't he or has he just trapped himself in the center of the board with this knight Hmm. Right, my rooks aren't getting into the situation at the moment. It's getting a bit scary. Got plenty of time. It's a 20 minute 10 second game, so that's quite nice. We do have a challenge going on starting from this Thursday. It's a 20 game challenge. So we'll be keeping the league totals for that so we're playing every Thursday as best possible you know time permitting and we'll be playing longer games 20 minimum is a 20 minute 10 second game upwards up to 45 and 10 or 45 15 so it's just for us to practice our our games we're wanting to improve our games so it's nice to play against each other we've got different styles different systems um, both strong in our own ways and both weak in our own ways as well but we want to we want to get better at playing chess simple as I don't know the knight doesn't look like it's got anywhere to go at this stage, but I can't actually attack it apart from bringing my bishop here. Because it doesn't have anywhere to go after. Eee, so he's brought his pawn down, and I was just saying, wasn't I, that 
Oh, he's given space for his knight to escape. So if we take the pawn here, his knight escapes. Could take it with the knight. Hmm. But taking with the knight blocks the bishop's diagonal, doesn't it? He's going to take, but he wants his knight to escape because he realised it got trapped. So for a split moment, we're actually a pawn up. So that's quite nice. That is quite nice, but he's always thinking of how we can get something back, isn't it? So his pawn knight now is attacking our pawn. We could do a simple pawn up here. I'm not rushing this because for every attack there's usually a counter attack. His bishop looks like a bit trapped in there. Could push onto the bishop. Pawn takes. Opening up our rook a little bit maybe. Push to block or push to attack another piece. We are in the mantra is basically selecting a smaller piece attacking a higher piece basically even when you're under threat it's like the Paul Morphy type thing you know you're attacking me so I'll attack you does this put me in a good position if I go there he captures with the pawn maybe it does you know because it gives me a three on one on this pawn with the magic of the bishop and the queen and the rook target in here so he doesn't have to take obviously he may see that so we push up he takes we take with this pawn here if the bishop then takes or well, he might not do he might go with the queen instead so that he's taking our queen off but if he brings his queen down our queen can go here and take a take the pawn with a check on his king so that would work out okay I think that's a lot better than just bringing this pawn here to defend here. So we're pushing onto the bishop here. And as we said, he doesn't have to do any of those continuations. He could just sacrifice the bishop. That might not be the same type of position that we wanted. Because if we took with the pawn, then... Yes, he potentially, if he does take, he's opening up space in front of his king. It's still dangerous, but it's not the same impact as having the three on one with the bishop and the rook. And let me just keep focused. Because he could bring his knight back. Attacking the pawn. Or take with the bishop. There. Oh, you see, eh? that's the Morphe sort of thing. Yeah, that's quite nice. You know, attacking a higher piece with a smaller piece, exactly what we were talking about there. Because we could have blocked here, but that wasn't good. But attacking a higher piece with a lesser piece gets a reaction. Now he's attacking our queen. Similar type of. We've got different styles, but the, like I say, it's this. Um, desire to improve our games so he understands this methodology i understand it as well so this is why it's nice to play against him because you don't really know what's coming back at you and this helps hopefully helping to improve my game okay so he's come down he's attacked our queen i'm not too panicked about it because i do believe our position is okay it's just that we don't have this anymore <laughs> oh dear so we could take that's an option right okay let's look at this first could take because the pawn is on the queen so what is wrong with taking hmm? does he get a better advantage from us taking or not the situation would be he doesn't have to take it's an option but he doesn't have to take he can come down and get a check on our king and start messing up down in the bottom here. So this is why we don't take here. And this is why I'm liking the longer games because take time to do the games properly. 
So bringing the queen back and out of the out of the situation seems doable to me. Potentially to this spot. Hmm. Yeah, so bring the queen back. Can always traverse here. He's got to move his bishop, so he loses a bit of tempo there for us, which is good. We're on this pawn, his queen's there at the moment. Bishop's still got the lovely diagonal. We can always still come and farm a little bit of an attack here. Knight's still got access here, attacking the knight. His knight's still got our pawn, but I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. He can get the pawn back because he's minus a pawn. But he's got to move his bishop first so potentially we might be just looking to block here not really wanting to block my bishop too much but if it's necessary we'll we'll go with that so the bishop's moved mm, we can still continue our attack going forward i think there's benefits so if he takes there he's losing tempo if we push forward looking for a fork here on the bishop and the queen obviously he's not going to wear them apples probably expecting to take queen takes and then again we've got that magical attack here on the pawn so i think keep that keeping that momentum going i don't really see a problem with that if we push like we said here His queen or his bishop can take this pawn, but the difference is going to be is that this can take this pawn. And we've got the three on one situation here, so there's nothing really to lose any sleep over. Going to do the gentle push up, keeping the pressure on. that we're keeping this pressure until it dries up so one would say it probably has to take but like it before he attacked a higher piece you know he understands how to deal with this type of stuff i'm trying to circumvent tactics that's taken with the queen it's taken with the queen And that's where the magic comes in because we said we were just going to take the pawn anyway, even if the bishop took or the queen took, because we do have this touch here, even with the pawn itself. So no matter which way he takes, I think we, there's a bit of a situation. He's probably going to have to take here, but he might ignore all that altogether, and he might just come down and just put a check on the king, you know? But we still got the two on one with the bishop and the rook. <sighs> okay, right. Okay. I, <laughs> I can say he's coming down for the check. Oh, dear me. Okay, he wants to get rid of the queen. He's not happy with it. But, like we said, we still do have this position here. And we still have our pawn in this position. So we can take, rook takes dead straight away. Mm -hmm. Now this is where I'm going to just take a moment. I'm going to take a moment to savour the situation now because it's quite nice. Because we focused on this, from, the, from him giving us this opportunity to be able to keep this pressure on. We can take with the pawn now with a check on his king. And it's not saying it's winning, but we then have... He's got his bishop protecting. It's on a white square. He's moved his king in front of there. Hmm. I don't know about that. I thought he was going to move the other side, actually. Well, we still need to box clever. We're not... It's only plus two. That doesn't mean anything when you're playing a tactics dude nine minutes okay so we got this far <laughs> what do we do uh, do, 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 do. bishops there rook 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 
so it's still on this pawn we could look to be fancy but I don't really his rook is on this pawn as well so we can't push there to defend the pawn so let's leave that I think there's bigger fish to fry we can't go there because his knight is there can't go there because his knight is there could bring the knight around and around and around okay so that's one two three moves for the knight to get towards the king area put a bit of pressure on whilst he's probably going to come and get our bishop isn't he but our bishop can hide it can move it can dodge and if it does do that we can go here uh, yeah I think it's a knight move let's get the knight one two three potentially coming up to the side yeah so this looks a bit scatty but I feel organized ish but it's the surprise elements that come from our man Julio isn't it as usual ah oh, dear let me see, let me see, one, two, three, four, bum, 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 bum. This is a nice game, a good game. Um, bum, 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 bum. What comes, where do we put it? Go here, we take the rook. He's taking the pawn at last, but that, I think, loses him a little bit of tempo in terms of our own development on the board because we want to follow the line that we've created here, which is with the knight. So we're still looking at that. Obviously, he's not going to give us that. And, oh, he's gone already. I like it. That was a bit quick. Okay. So he's come back up. Is he looking to support with his knight somehow? What's the deal? Looking to support with his knight. If we take the pawn, his king just moves to the side. This magic got something there. We were planning to do that particular move, but is that too urgent? I don't want to overpress and lose the initiative. I'm going to grab it and put the check on. That's my creative brain overthinking, wasting time. And logically, now what happens here? We can look to lean on his knight. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. Don't want to trap the knight. Knight still got this here, but he could bring his bishop there. But the rook is there at the minute. Could push. I don't think that's going to be wise, is it? Well, we've got pieces protecting, so we could, in essence, push the pawn. Could push. He's got the bishop there. Or we could attack the rook because we've got now an opposition. So his rook has to take them takes and his king is in the middle of the board. So there's options, 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 options. There's push. Don't really want to lose my queen though. I'd lose my queen once. If I went queen, bishop takes, knight takes. Yeah, that I ain't got enough people. Oh, I've got my bishop. No, but the bishop's not covering this square. So if I bring the rook here, do a bit of opposition with him. Seven minutes, That's I think that's ample time with 10 second increment. And it's given me enough time to even get some mon monologuing going on here. So this is quite good. I feel more relaxed now. Yeah, a lot, a lot less stressed than in the simul. <laughs> I don't think you can play somebody like Carlsina in a simul. You know, really. I mean, yeah, you have to have a bit of full-on concentration. And it wasn't a bad match, though, in the simul. Um, I was really impressed with the way he played on that one. So, okay, let's uh, keep it tight. So his rook can't move from this position, so he can defend with his bishop, bring it here. So if we took his rook, then his bishop would be down there. That would then afford us, I think. Would it not? Oh, I bet we don't. They're getting the queen. 
because then if he's rooked up then our rook can take and then we've got like a knight a rook and a bishop against a bishop and a knight still have to work but I suppose it's something uh, do, 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 do. Oh, how's this going how's this going oh it's actually moved Oh, he's gone with the support for the um, knight. The smallest of moves. So he's gone for support rather than bringing the bishop because he wants the bishop to keep this um, pressure here. Mm. So we can still take the, the rook. We can still take the rook because then we'll pin the, um, the knight to the king. Yeah. With the rook, potentially. So that looks pretty straightforward to me, just pinning the knight to the rook, like we said. Only piece that can defend is bringing this pawn down, but the bishop can take that pawn. So he might, he might be throwing in a resignation here. Fingers crossed. This is nice positional play. So I've not run, run any tactics here. This is just positional play. So. And also we've controlled the creative side of our process by logicalizing it, I think. We can still come and attack our knight. I suppose we bring the knight around. No, if he does that we can just take his rook and his knight, sorry, can't we with a check on his king. So that's not that's not a worry. So the king's move, so we get the knight for free, it looks like. I'm not going to overdo it, but taking, yeah, his rook's not going to come here to defend. It's a dark square, his white square bishop. So we can take the knight for free, I believe. <sighs> that was lovely, lovely. Yeah, like that. But I can still mess it up if he's still continuing. I might do something totally wrong. Now he's attacking the bishop. So he's trying to squeeze in somehow now. Bishop can, like I say, it can defend itself. It can come here, it can go there. I don't even have to move that bishop really, you know. I could just move the rook, couldn't I? And just move it behind here. Look to get some exchange off. I wonder what would happen there. So if I go here, then his king moves to the side. And then we push the pawn. His bishop takes. I don't think the rook's going to take. I bet you I'm missing something. So if I bring the rook here, bishop will maybe attacks the rook. I'm I'm supporting my bishop at the moment. Is he just going to drop his pawn down? No, I'm, I'm just going to go here. don't want to do excessive moves if I don't have to. Who comes there? This pawn is protected so there's no back rank checkmate things. Unless I'm missing some fancy tactic thing and I don't want to miss a fancy tactic thing. We've worked hard to get to this point. Come on now. Come on, you can't find any magic. I'm getting worked up now because I'm thinking that it might all go wrong but it just looks pretty straightforward. Oh, oh, he said he's a bit blind right now. Damn. Pretty 
Bishop e3. Where's Bishop e3? Oh, he said Bishop e3 was better for him. Yeah. Okay, so the king has come across. So I'm going to take the chance and just um, <laughs> uh, push the pawn up and see what transpires. We've worked out that I'm going to have a piece up of some sort. So just go for the queen. It'll look a bit messy, but I'm sure there's some sort of material that I'm up. Maybe just the bishop. And uh, just grab here. didn't think he would exchange the rook so it's the game is still on you know so a knight could come here put a check on his king and this is where it can get very sticky now so ah dear from an advantage to then just losing it all that's what I've got in my head now watch how I fluff the game okay put the check on the king So thirsty. He's still playing on, he's still playing on. We've got a dark square bishop. Uh, so how do we work this? Time is running out now. No, it's not. Could put a check on again, but that's just going backwards and forwards. If I close him down a little bit with the rook, he comes maybe to here. Yeah, he's got he's got he's defended, isn't he? He's defended. Okay, I need to find something suitable to do. If I put the check, he can't come here, he can go there. If he's not going to do that, he's going to come in here to protect his pawn. Knight comes here to put a check on his king. His king can't go here, can't go there, has to go there. Knight comes here, or goes up to there, puts a check on the king. King has to move there. Okay, let's try that. There's no checkmate per se, I can't see in there. I'm just trying to disturb him until he says, no, I've had enough. <laughs> but I don't think he's going to do that. So look at that, because my bishop is under a threat, you see. So I've got to be keeping the checks on. Because his rook can take the bishop. But the bishop's doing a nice job at the minute stopping this day these diagonals if we can maintain those checks it doesn't have to go there he might go up here no he's gone in there so we did say the knight was coming here with a check What's this? is there anything better now that the position is here turn dark square no let's go with the check until such time as we have to move the bishop but I don't know if we have to but I don't, there's no checkmate maybe we can get his rook off the board somehow exchange the rooks then I think we're quids in and then we said the knight was going to come oh it can't go there can it, it'd have to come here yeah we did mention that one but the rook will just take it off the board so come in here then he goes hiding and then we can look to see if we can exchange the rook off, I think. By bringing our rook here. But he doesn't have to, but his rook's got nowhere to go. So he'll have to take something and then disappear off the board. Oh, oh, 
interesting so we can come here that's like checkmate then isn't it boom good job wow good job Oof. Okay, let's go. Playing as white at last. Okay, we weren't playing white last time, were we? No. Okay. It's coming for the Fiancetto stuff. Let's go here. Now, I'm not rushing this, and it's easy to get carried away just because you get an advantage. I'm here to learn. Develop the night. Just develop the bishop, eh? <laughs> Keeping it safe and steady. Okay, let's castle here. I'm just getting some water now. developed <laughs> just bring the bishop out get it towards my king area I don't know That's nice and simple. Nothing behind the bishop. It's a bit too short to duck go here. Just can there, can there. Mm. Let's bring it back. Positions like this when we've got the diagonal here, it's quite tasty. That's quite tasty as well. 
I'm not sure if I've missed the opportunity to do that. I'm doing it. Oh, do you know? Ah, I'm so stupid. I think we should have done that before this night developed. One, two. Well, maybe at least we've got the pawn protecting here. Okay, panic over, I think. I, th I think, anyway. Let's go along. Maybe there we go. Yes, I knew there was some combination I was going to lose out on. Damn, I shouldn't have pushed that pawn. Just get this up here. I shouldn't have done that. Now I'm going to be down, but in a nice position. <laughs> down in a nice position against the tactics, man. It's not a good thing. I rushed that. I should have taken my time. Oh, here we go. What is going on now? Uh, is that a good thing, him doing that? I'm not... Uh, it's upset the apple car, aren't they? Let's grab here. Pawn takes. Uh, it's still equal, but I'm down the pawn because of that silly pawn manoeuvre. I thought it looked good, but then the combination just didn't work out. Ah, <sighs> dear. But, like I said, probably in a better position for it. But that's what I've got to believe, anyway. Means I'm going to have to work harder now on that pawn. They're not protected. Could bring the bishop here, blocking the queen, just attacking the pawn. King comes to defend. Bring the queen up to attack the pawn. Bring this knight, but it's not attacking anything at the minute. Let's bring the queen up, attacking the pawn. Get it off the back as well. Linking up the rooks. I think it's going to do that. It's not going to bring the rook into the centre of the board. That's a big no no. But if the king does that. Oh, the knight's not close enough. Damn. I thought it could go like that. But he can't. One pawn move made all the. Damn. Oh. I moved too fast. It's a 20 minute, 10 second game. Why did I move that fast? Didn't put no calculation into it. I need to really just focus. Mantra, answer, mantra, answer. It's most annoying when you have to work hard now. You know you have to work hard. I'm sat here going, man, yeah, it's a pawn up. Now I'm definitely having to work hard. I'm trying to find the better position now. All from that one move. Now he's really focusing now. He's taking his time. He's proper chilling. He's looking for those, that tactic, tactic. I mean, in the last game, I think I, I kind of blocked off the tactical aspect by really squinching a little bit you know continuing the attack i did that in the simul as well it's just that i then didn't look at my back end to continue the squinching of his potential attacks he's not caring about the pawn so he's uh, coming down for his own pawn he's already bought a pawn up so he's coming for the b pawn having to work too hard Defence, defence, defence now. Defence all the way. Just bring the rook here. That's pretty simple, that one. What pieces can help me get towards his king? Knight can. Somehow. Here he comes here, attacking the pawn. Pawn drops down. Ah, oh, he's defending the pawn now. But that's not where the king wants to be, is it? That is not where the king wants to be. So we're going to have to start putting some pressure on there at some point could go there now but then what else can come in to defend because he can't push the pawn down 
what can annoy the situation is knight can come here attacking our queen and also defending the pawn so that is not going to be a good situation going to keep that in the back pocket but also keep that in the back pocket the fact that his knight can come there we can attack his queen I think we did this in, his, in the simul didn't we we said we don't really like doing this move because it doesn't put us in a good position small piece attacking a higher piece does he come down to attack it what's my plan if I was going to attack him there and then he does something Hmm, if I push here, lazy man. Do I come this way, attacking this pawn? Is that defended? Yes, it is defended because his knight comes here, attacking the queen. Oh, you know, I might as well just move my queen out of the way. This knight is just going to get it, isn't it? If I moved it here, attacking the pawn. Hmm. <laughs> if I moved it there, what's what's going to happen? Because this knight is going to be annoying. I know full well it's just going to put a check on me. What else can I do? I'm going to go with that. Uh, maybe this comes here blocked, but. That's going to be a waste of a position, isn't it? Or do, oh, taking the pot. I've got a spot with the rook. Okay, just calm my brain. Calm my brain. This king is not in a good position. We should be able to take advantage. I'm trying to attack these weak pawns as best possible. We're still on this pawn here. We're on this pawn. But he's going to defend it by bringing his knight down because the bishop is going to defend. So what do I have? So his knight still gets my queen anyway. Still attacks my queen no matter where I put it. Yeah, look at that. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm having to work too hard in this game. Can't it you can't look to exchange, you don't want to have any of that. Maybe look to exchange the queen here. Nobody likes exchanging the queens anymore, do they? Maybe he drops the pawn. Do I run out of space? Is there? If I go there, he could move his knight again, attacking this pawn and his bishops on my queen. Oh my life. I have to drop back down protecting the pawn. And this knight is in my king area. Oh la la. Well, I don't like his queen, so I'm going to see if it goes that way. But. This damn knight. Mm hmm hmm. Cagey, cagey game again. Cagey game. All from that one pawn move. I need to get over that. Get over that and focus. I'm trying to get a better position. I've put myself in danger, I think, here, but I still take it. Anything to get a big gun off the board, as far as I'm concerned. I feel like it's to my benefit if I can take him off there, but um, I think he's probably going to try some fancy tactic business well at least we've covered the off the potential attack we do have like an open file here as well with our own rook Yeah, we said he could block down with the pawn, and he has done so. Nobody likes exchanging their queens nowadays. So weird. Okay, so we can still keep pressure on this pawn. I'm going to swing it here rather than bringing it here. 
because his rooks and stuff are going to start challenging me on this file so I'm going to come here and then there's potential knight movements here potential for a 2 on 1 on this pawn here with the knight getting all excited now but this pawn doesn't have any protection on it so you can expect this knight to be coming here plus it's getting closer towards our king area Ooh, that's a lot of stuff going on there I need some water voices going Bishop's move. I think um, he's just linking up his rooks. So it's nice and patient, but also he's brought the bishop there because he doesn't want me challenging him again. <laughs> he's fed up. So we did say we we're going to come here, but also the bishop is blocking off the knight coming to attack on this side. Ah, oh, tricky dicky. Okay, so he's nullified the stuff on this side. Is there anything happening on this side? There is potential again, like we focused on this area before, especially this pawn. But now that this bishop and the king are controlling this area, I mean, we could attack his knight with the um, knight here. <coughs> Excuse me. But he doesn't have to take it. That's the thing. Could bring the queen all the way across facing their king. The idea of the knight coming here with a check. That would be nice. Getting the bishop here. That would be nice. Ooh. I think we're going to come with them apples. Some type of thing like something like that. Potential, potential for attacks on the king side area. This pawn has got no protection, and my king is in line with his queen. Look at that. So he could just drop his pawn, take this pawn here. So we have to be very mindful of that and seriously take action. That's a biggie. It's not a checkmate per se, but he does, he does have his own little patterns that he can bring into the game. It's just that we've got pieces defending at the minute. If this knight gets into here, then that's going to be a nice position. If we got funky and started moving, you know, attacking the bishop. Oh my word. This is using up quite a few of my cells here. Okay, I need to just tone it down now. Let's just have a look at what actually happens now. I suffer from overthinking. push actually that's the expectation though if he does push then the bishop can come here with a check on his king so his king gets distanced Pawn. I'm trying to do it slowly because I don't want to overthink. He, he may not do it, so I'll waste all my brain power going through these maneuvers. Because the pawn can't take back. If I 
so I, I wouldn't even need to do the bishop move I'd just be able to just take so he's moved out of the way because he's probably heard me talking no he hasn't <laughs> so this pawn doesn't have any support on it now so as we mentioned we can just bring the bishop here and attack we can always drop it now we don't have that sort of um, threat type thing with the knight taking <coughs> but it's still quite a nice threat because if he does push down we can still take if he does take then the queen comes here oh no it's not a checkmate but it's close enough it's getting close to it I don't I can't I'm surprised he made that move actually, he might have made that move a bit quick. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know. Ah, is it a sacrifice? Is it a proper sacrifice and a good position or am I just wasting it? because he doesn't have to you've got to remember he's still got this here so if we went like this yeah, if we take he doesn't have to take back that's the thing he doesn't have to so he could do something else is he anywhere near our king no the only thing that can do any damage is this pawn push down but then his queen has to take the pawn so if they did take Oh no, we can't. This is why we're taking our time. Damn. Yeah, we can't go shooting in there because the knight's there. Oh, gutted. Oh, the knight. Oh, so I'm going to have to move my queen. So I can't move my queen here. I can't move it there. I can't move it there. I can't move it there. And I can't move it there. I can move it back but then he's got a discover check with his pawn and I could move it here but it's not at, ooh, hold on. could move it there with the idea of attacking the pawn pawn takes queen takes opposite the king still no dice really got the rook though here facing the mm -hmm. that's too much Wow, how creative was that, dude? You need to just bring yourself back. <laughs> oh dear. Wow. Creative mind was going like crazy there. No, we can't be doing that. Let's logicalize it. Oh, I thought I had it then. I thought there was a nice pattern going there for a nice position. Oh no, so now it's going to be all this business going on. We still do have the diagonal. And I think we still can creep it in once this knight decides to start jumping away from that position and if this pawn does attack we can come here sneak in here that type of thing so it gives strength to the knight so those are the positives that's the logical aspect of that particular maneuver oh need to move not faster ish he's on 13 minutes we're on 10 minutes it is a 10 second increment I might need to get something to nibble now. I feel like I've been. Short changing myself. Let's have a look at this situation. <clears throat> Small potatoes. Let me see, we could attack the knight. Yep. Does it work? So if we, if he does, then we can take here. Then we're looking at this sort of pressure. So I don't really see any benefits to attacking the queen here. I'm going to attack the knight and see what happens. He doesn't have to do anything, but if he does move it out of the way, I've got two knights on this pawn here. Looking at some sort of sacrifice, not yet, not yet. It's got to be nailed on. I want to see something at the end of the sacrifice. 
something positive, something forced that he has to react to. I don't think there's going to be a knight capture here, but it's helped us develop our knight because if you can see, if he doesn't, we can potentially take, but then again it's dangerous, you know, seeing the gold here, but then the rook just comes and faces the knight off, and I've pinned my own knight, so in essence, scrub that one from our mind, don't bother with that one, unless of course we're going to take with the queen, which would be probably better. Yeah, so taking the pawn with the queen, then we're on the queen. If the rook decides to come, we'll just take the queen off. So the queen will, queen will take, knight will take, knight's on the bishop and the pawn. So that's quite nice, that's quite nice. So there's a positive out of that, if we do the move order correctly. Man, I seriously thought I had a move over, move over here. But this is why it's good to talk the moves through, you know, in your head, talking them through, going through the creative aspect, and then logicalizing the whole thing after it. That's where we're currently at with our development, um, because our creative brain just gets a little bit too fancy and overrides our logical thinking. So it's gone into a deep one here and um, I'm constantly monologuing. I'm just going to go get something to nosh. I'll just leave that on. there's a move yeah none of the moves that I said not one of them but the key move that we were interested in was if it was a positive move I mean he's attacking this pawn here but I want to get his queen off the board He's attacking. I'm gonna have to go through the move order thing here. It's not a check on our king. He is plus one, so we're gonna get it back, but then he gets it back again with his knight. But then, as we said, I'm gonna go through it. Queen takes, defending the pawn here at the minute. He could actually just go and take the pawn with his knight. He does move in a strange way, so. If we went there, could that go there? Our queen isn't going to go take the knight because it doesn't have any support. So if we then take his, oh, there'd be a little gap here. But that's no good because his knight could move and he'd have a discovered check. So we take the queen off. You would assume that he would take back with the pawn. His knight is still there. So our knight isn't up here. So our knight's not up there. Um I'm gonna take it. I still feel there's a benefit of some sort. It does <laughs> As we said, oh my god. He does, he moves in strange ways. I'm, I'm, I think I'm probably getting used to how he moves in a weird way. Because whatever you expect 
he doesn't always he doesn't usually do he does the opposite okay so we've worked out up until this point of actually potentially capturing the queen so we went to this point obviously the pawn is going to take and then at that point there it was a case of well we're going to look at the situation and see what's happening <laughs> okay So it's still plus one, but we're looking for position play on the board, and it feels quite nice our position. I mean, we've got like two lines of double pawns here. You can make that work to your favour, and he's on our rook. So if we fall asleep, we may as well just move this and attack the knight. So positionally it's not too bad I don't think. Now we're going to have to just box very clever. Just Whoa that's my ball. <laughs> Cracky. <laughs> uh, little box very clever here yeah, now. Six minutes, ten minutes. That's ample, ample enough time. Got to watch this poem with the stealth bishop. So creative minds now going into overload now so this knight probably goes back to whence they came if it's coming here towards my king area back up to there Shoo. I'm not sure the potential for this pawn to be taken is quite high it's just that it's got support with the bishop at the moment but we do have all of these here as well that can we can try to take some action against because like the bishop could put a check on here get this knight moved out of the way maybe attacking yeah. or bringing it here bringing it down Yeah, I don't think we we don't need to be too forceful yet because then his rook will come and attack the bishop. So I think the target point is this pawn. Because if it drops it down we have the rook protecting. If he sees it then obviously he's gonna go here, so we're probably gonna have to fashion some sort of bishop move to try and get this pawn. So I'm thinking this is the target point at the minute. Can always bring the bishop here attacking this pawn. Giving them giving him something to think about so that he's getting disturbed and imbalanced. Five minutes. Probably need to pick it up a bit now. I know it's a ten second increment. Right, where am I at now? He's brought his knight to protect the pawn. He's got the stealth bishop protecting here. So it looks like it's going to be a big trade fest going now. But I don't need to trade the knight. I can do exactly what he does against me, which is get my knight moving over to here into a nice dangerous position and get, grab this pawn. Do you think it's going to happen that way? Not really, but I'm going to go for that anyway get into these um, little nooks and crannies trying to take advantage of these double pawns I think his rook is just going to come here to block that off anyway but it's making them do something that they don't want to do I'm hoping you can always take the bishop off here if, if need be
Ooh, this is smooth. And that's the key square. So I am going to move here um, without any hesitation. So that's where I am going. I'm just having a look at his beautiful picture that he's creating. He's got a two and one on this pawn. So we'll be attacking a higher piece. And his rook moves away because he doesn't want to get taken. Or he comes down to attack the knight. But he's not really going to take the knight because the bishop's protecting. So if he did do that, then the knight would come here with a check on his king. So his king then comes to attack, maybe. And if the king came to attack and the knight is here. Knight comes back around again, puts a check on the king, so he could bounce backwards and forwards. Or is there something better? Let me have a look at that again. Tax doesn't rook. Rook comes down, he can't take. Knight takes the pawn with a check. Potentially. King, king comes across. Attacking the knight. Knight puts a check back on the king. Maybe the king goes back here. Okay, so that's job done. We've grabbed a pawn. Well, we would have grabbed the pawn back. So then it's our turn. And we can then probably push on to the knight. See what he's actually wanting to do in this situation. Or well, we could push on to the bishop. See what he what she wants to do. Or he. Yep. Okay, let's go with that. Two minutes, I'm on. Two minutes I'm on. I need to bump it up a bit. Right, let's see if he falls into the play, brings the rook down, attacks the knight, check, check, check. We don't have to do that move and move order. We can come down and you know do these maneuvers as well. Because we still have the protection here, but it's probably might be nice just to take the pawn off, trying to take advantage of this disheveled position. In fact, it's probably might even be better just pushing it onto the knight because the knight is the one protecting this pawn. But then, if he did move, although we do have our knight here protecting the bishop, so yeah, okay, that's getting too too many moves ahead I just need to look at what is actually going to happen now so I'm resting my brain captures anyway oh here we go what is going on now that's not in the that's not in the situation uh, it's on our rook I'm going to have to take he's on our rook again so I'm going to have to this is stuff that I haven't put into my recollections at all I'm taking here playing the way that he plays which is taking pieces that you don't expect them to take so bishop takes rook takes yeah maybe so <laughs> dear me okay just be steady so we can take that bishop at any stage we're going to have this bishop so we're going to grab here this is a take fest here now it's a move order situation so I'm on two of his pieces, he can move his bishop out but he's going to get his rook taken so his rook is going to do something could come down here to start peeling off all these pawns I'm 
and say nothing. It's a tumbleweed moment now. This is where this the next move is the one that sets the game, I think, because we've got equal. <laughs> he said, "Damn, we've got equal pieces." <laughs> The idea is that I've got three of his pieces under attack, realistically two because one of those that is being under attack can escape. So in essence I should end up materially up no matter what sort of move he makes, in essence. Yeah, so we did say the rook coming down, peeling off the pawns, so that was an option. But we can defend that pawn. So we're going to be material up in a sense, although his bishop is going to take the pawn because he's got now the support. Of the rook so he doesn't want to be taken by the knight so he's taken anyway so we could in essence now there's many ways to skin the cat on this one but I just want to be as steady as possible because I don't want to get background checkmated when we've done all this lovely work could attack the rook I think he's probably going to end up with this pawn. We've probably got sides of taking this. Do we give our king a flight square? If I did attack the rook coming here. Does he come down with a back ranker? It's, I don't think there's a back ranker here, is there? Just going to attack it. <clears throat> He does have a double though. Ah, I've given him the double. He's got the double whammy on me. He's got the double whammy. But not really, because if he does take, I'll just take his bishop. So he's not taken, he's keeping the bishop. He's keeping that line. He's going to try and win on time, I think. Okay, so 10 seconds. Let's see. So we go up, see if we can disturb this pawn. This pawn. Gonna have to move fast now. It's 10 second increments, so I'll try it. Oh, he's coming for my knight. And um, bishop takes, bishop, yeah, let's go here. Speed it up a bit. Knight still has a check on the king, but it's not a very good position. Knight down, bam, bam, yep. So he's attacking there, so let's, uh, with a check. I'm gonna lose the knight, you know. Feel it in my water. Just attack the rook here. So we're clawing back a bit of time. I'm hoping we're improving our position. Whoa, what was that? Okay, um, bring the knight across. I'm trying to get to this position here with the knight. So if we can get here to there without his rook blocking the way. Or maybe I come there and then come down. So if I go there with a check and then I win the rook as well. So that's okay. Woo!
go. Where's he go? Oh, his, his uh, battery's died. Okay, nice one.